And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, things have quieted down pretty nicely this evening, but we're still seeing some strong winds across the viewing area, even without those rain chances. We can see rain just on the periphery of our Precision 18 radar here. Let's throw this map in motion. We saw the rain roll through earlier in the day, now dealing with the dry conditions, plenty of cloud cover, southeasterly winds gusting as high as 30 miles per hour over these last few hours. And zooming out, you can see that next round of rainfall right off to the west of us, a nice defined line of rain showers, a few storms off to the south of us. However, a lot of this rain is losing its steam as it makes its way towards our region. We should see the majority of this system hold off until likely the early morning hours tomorrow morning, but still the core of low pressure off to the west of us over portions of uh, Kansas as well as Oklahoma sitting off that west, that low, driving that cold front. That's why we're seeing the nice defined line of rain showers. That's the cold front right there, and that's pushing eastward across the Great Plains and into the Midwest, eventually arriving here at home and bringing yet another dose of rainfall and possibly an additional inch of rainfall throughout some portions of the viewing area. 57 right now in Monticello. We're at 58 in Star City. 59 degrees right now in Kirkland. Here in Lafayette, we're seeing uh, temperatures sitting in the mid-50s as well. 57 degrees. Notice the wind still from the southeast, 14 miles per hour. Southeasterly winds continuing to gust up around 25, 30 miles per hour over these last few hours. has made for a bit of a blustery evening, to say the least. So 57 in Lafayette, not so bad right now. We could see temperatures fall off into the low 50s overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, which is nothing compared to what's headed our way. So we have that cold front off to the west of us that will bring isolated showers at first and then a more defined rainfall as that cold front begins to move into the region early tomorrow morning. So a few light showers before dawn with heavier rainfall headed our way for the afternoon hours. So 53 year overnight low temperature tonight. More rain arriving early. Once again, southeasterly winds remain blustery into the early morning hours, gusting as high as 25, maybe 30 miles per hour. For tomorrow, that cold front pushes off to the east of us. Notice on our precision future cast, a lot of that rain moving off to the east of us by around our lunch hour. However, more scattered rainfall is expected to pass across the viewing area thereafter with the last of that rain passing off to the east of us by tomorrow evening. So once again, an additional inch of rain fall in some spots, likely our far southwestern portion of the viewing area. Our northeastern counties not catching a whole lot more rainfall in your forecast. 59 degrees, your high temperature on Wednesday. We fall to 42 Wednesday night. Thursday, 51, your high temperature that day. We dip down to 29 degrees that evening. You got the high temperature on Friday, only 44 degrees with rain chances moving back in late Friday night, early Saturday morning. But as temperatures dip down to 40 Friday night and Saturday morning, that will be your high temperature on Saturday occurring just after midnight, temperatures will be on a gradual decline throughout the day Saturday, falling to 23 degrees Saturday night into Sunday. And if you can't tell on that icon right there, maybe a little chance for some flurries early Saturday morning. Timing has to be just right, and we'll keep our eyes on that. But that temperature of 23 Saturday night is the coldest temperature in Lafayette since the end of March. So things are going to be cooling off quite a bit. Well, I think a lot of people are going to be hoping the timing is quite wrong. Yeah. So. <laughs>